I was making a sign up sheet today for our flex block and I realized that just a straight Google form wasn't going to do the job I wanted to do. The problem was that I didn't want uh, our students to sign up and have you know all 80 of our students all sign up for one class or have one of our, or two of our teachers overrun with no kids at the other class. So I needed to find a way to limit the number of uh, spots in each one of these choices. So I did a little search and a, I found a really great tool that I'd like to share with you. So I went to the three dots up here and then went to the uh, puzzle piece add-ons. And under the search, I put choice eliminator. I picked the one uh, choice eliminator two because it appeared to be a full um, version and not a light version. And when I added that into forms and chose choice eliminator, I can configure that and limit the number of available choices for each one of these. So um, we click on the question that we would like to do an eliminate choice for, and we click on the op uh, choice options or this gear here. And what I did was I set each one of the options to a limit of 30 so that uh, no, no one teacher is going to have more than 30 students in their group. Now, when I send that out to the students, uh, there's a few changes that I want to do to my own settings. I want to make sure that I'm collecting their email addresses so I know who is going into each group, because if you notice, I didn't put a name question in my form. Um, I'm going to click response receipts as well, and always, so that they have a record of what they chose and where they're going. Um, I am limiting it to my user group, and I want to limit it to one response, because each new response that they do if you do not click this, we'll take up another one of those uh, one of those seats in one of those classes. But I do want them to be able to edit their submission, just in case their circumstances change or if they complete an assignment and then need to go to a different room uh, to get some help in another so subject. I, I want them to have that option. Um, one last thing that I noticed, uh, I had three different divisions entering uh, information in this form at the same time. And I noticed that in my spreadsheet, uh, every once in a while, one of the choices would come up blank. Uh, so a student's name would be in one cell and their choice would be blank. I'm not exactly sure why that was happening. My best guess is that um, one of the choices was filling up. Um, and maybe with 29 people already signed up for one location, two people submitted their form at the same time. The thing is, uh, as the form gets filled out and the seats fill up, when one group, like if English with Bennett has 30 people at it, uh, subsequent um, uh, people filling out the form will not see that as an option. They'll only see the two that are available. So I think that that's what happened when you see a blank uh, cell. I just asked those students to go back and edit their choice and uh, and pick something that was available. I hope that helps.